Welcome to this tutorial series on working with the True32 Project Tracker Airtable template. In this video tutorial, we will take a closer look at ballpark estimates in the Project Tracker Airtable base. This is an awesome app, but it takes some practice to master it, so I recommend you schedule some one on one time to learn the basics. Then we can move on to some more advanced topics. Several sessions is better than a baptism by fire multi hour marathon session. Remember, you're making an app. How cool is that? And things are changing often. So back to our home screen. I don't want to belabor any one of these topics and we've touched on this topic in both of the first two videos, but I really want to make some points that are specific to ballpark estimates. So what is a ballpark estimate? Number one, it's not accurate. Now I touched on that where we talked about these rates where we have a low rate and we have an average rate and we have a high rate and we're getting those rates from our own data in time. We might have to guess fairly liberally initially but we're getting those numbers from this Airtable base as time goes on and they get more and more accurate but they'll never be exactly accurate and the reason is we're not accounting for the number of doors or the number of drawers or the number of wall cabinets or the number of base cabinets or how many cabinets have finished ends and how many don't have finished ends how many fillers how many linear feet of molding or even that molding at all we're just taking the average of all the jobs through the year that had those things and averaging them and then we mentioned briefly in the last session that if you have very few cabinets maybe 10 or less that they're not very accurate and especially if those 10 happen to all be base cabinets with drawers the point is is that a ballpark estimate is not capital not accurate they're not intended to be accurate so don't try to make it accurate it's just a pre-qualifier a methodology to kick out the tire kickers to not waste your time on people who either cannot afford your cabinets or choose not to purchase cabinets at the price range you sell them in so now that we know what a ballpark estimate is not let's talk about what a ballpark estimate is is fast that's the whole point is that it's fast and a lot of people use something similar to our ballpark estimate all the time as their only estimating method so they're using just straight up linear footage which does doesn't distinguish between 10 one foot cabinets and one 10 foot cabinet or they're using our methodology of per cabinets all the time we're not doing that we're just using this as a pre-qualifier so let's see how quickly we can do this using our smartphone so the first thing we'll do is click on the orange plus button at the bottom that adds a new project and we're going to add our status. We'll choose selection. Then we're going to link to a company. We're going to use our Princess Bride Enterprises again. Then we're going to add a contact and we're going to go ahead and add a contact and I apologize for misspelling the last name. Now we'll click on the contact info and we're not going to fill this whole thing out. We're just going to add the type and move on. We wouldn't do that normally if the customer was in the showroom anyway. So we'll go back to the home screen and now we'll add our category. We're going to use commercial new construction. Then we'll add our project manager. I'm just going to use myself. Then our kickoff date today. And then we'll add our due date. Put that a couple weeks in advance. Then we're going to link to our ballpark estimate and then create a new record. Enter our cabinet quantity, just an estimated number that we can glean from drawings, sketches, photos, whatever. Then we're going to link to our low rate. Then we'll link to our average rate. And as we talked about in the other ones, you could have more than one of each of these. Then we'll link to our high rate. 
and we have our high cost of 37,500. We have our average cost of 21,250 and we have our low cost of 16,250. And so in about two minutes and 43 seconds, we got our ballpark estimate for our customer. So that's it for this tutorial on ballpark estimates in the Project Tracker Airtable base. Next, we will take a closer look at the estimate. Thanks for watching.